After a fine start to the year, with notably a 1-0 win over Marseille, Nancy have fallen back into bad habits, with defeats against Reims and Montpellier in their last two games. To maintain any hope of survival, they needed at least a point at home to high-flying Saint-Étienne. Le Vert remain unbeaten in 2013, and their recent good run has coincided with leading goalscorer Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's return to form. The Gabonese international is forming an ever more dangerous-looking partnership with the Brazilian Brandao, and it was he who put Saint-Étienne 1-0 up in the 17th minute. Remarkably, Saint-Étienne haven't lost any of the 11 games that Brandao has started for them this season. The Brazilian, with a little help from Joel Sami, claiming his seventh goal of the season. It was one-way traffic at Marcel Picot, and in the 40th minute, Saint-Étienne doubled their lead through, inevitably, Aubameyang, who has now scored in each of his five last league and appearances. A superb finish this for 2-0. With the snowflakes starting to settle, Lever taking a two-goal advantage into the break. Patrick Gabriel's men looked incapable of containing their visitors, but when Fabien Lemoyne went in late on Vincent Muratori in the 64th minute, referee Nicholas Rainville brandished a straight red card. A nasty challenge indeed, and Saint-Étienne down to 10 men. Not that their numerical superiority did much to help Nancy. Three minutes after Lemoyne's dismissal, Saint-Étienne poured forward on the counter-attack. Obama Young picked up the ball from Renault Cohad and unleashed a stinging drive which crashed back off the crossbar. Keeper Damian Gregorini well beaten here. Parity was then restored in the 78th minute as substitute Florenzit went in on Jonathan Brison from behind. Monsieur Reinville's red card made its second appearance of the day as Nancy 2 were reduced to 10 men. Zite making a total contribution of only 18 minutes. All the while, Saint-Étienne continued to threaten. Aubameyang skipping past Sebastian Puigronier here, but this time denied by Gregorini. Saint-Étienne's third and Aubameyang's second eventually came in the 88th minute, as Mathieu Bodmer slipped forward. Aubameyang's pace showed, and he was able to sweep past Gregorini for his 14th goal of the season. He is now Ligue 1's second highest goalscorer behind PSG's Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Nil then the final score. Saint-Etienne up to fifth while League 2 looms large for Nancy.